All right, so you've been thinking about redoing your website. Coming up, I'll go through my six questions you should be asking yourself to decide if now's the time to give your website a facelift. Hey there, it's Jeff from The Fit Co, a digital marketing agency focused on helping small businesses grow. On our YouTube channel, we'll be helping businesses of all kinds learn about how to grow their audience and acquire customers online. We'll be talking about digital strategy, social media, paid ads, giving you tutorials, tips, how-tos, and product and service reviews to help you grow your business. If you think videos like this one will be helpful for your business, I'd, I'd encourage you to subscribe. All right, well, let's get into it. Number one, can I find you on Google? So if I Google your industry and your geography, are you showing up? Are you on the first page, the first couple pages? If you're not showing up at all, there's probably something wrong with your website. So it might be time to redo it. So you wanna have something that's SEO friendly. So that's search engine optimization. Um, if you wanna learn more about SEO, check out the video here. Um, but you may be wanting to create content and, and try to move up the ranking so people can find you through organic search. All right, so number two, is your site mobile friendly? So if I am on my phone or tablet, which are actually make up over 50% of searches on Google now, and I get to your site, can I read it well? Does it adjust to my screen size? Or do I have to zoom in to try to read what's on your page? Um, if it's not mobile friendly, I'd encourage you to redo your site so that you can see your page well across any device. Number three, is your site selling for you? So what I mean by that, are you getting leads or selling because of your website? It's not just a digital brochure that kind of summarizes your business. You should be selling, you, know, you should have a call to action, which is basically like trying to get someone's email, making it clear how to call you, um, how to get to your physical location. And that should be prominent across your site and pushing people towards, towards that, not just a, a summary of the information about your company. Number four, do you need a developer to make changes to your website? So you should be able to make basic changes, maybe not change everything, but if you want to add a new person to your team, add a new product, change the price, put up another blog post, those are things you should be able to do on your own. So these days there's a lot of drag and drop website builders, so our page is built on Squarespace, there's also Weebly and Wix. Um, I'm going to put links to those down below so you can check them out, as well as a free course to learn how to build a Squarespace page. Um, and with those you should be able to, over a weekend, learn to build your own web page. Um, that's SEO friendly, that's mobile optimized, all of those things is something you know to consider and we'll be doing tutorials for that in future videos so that might be a reason you'd want to subscribe and, and see other videos of ours. Number five, are you proud of how your website tells your story? So what I mean by that is, does your personality shine through? Do people feel like, does it convince people to want to purchase from you? Does it highlight the benefits of purchasing from you or being one of your customers versus your competitors? You know, this can be done through video, through pictures, well-written story of why you're there and, and how you're helping your customers. And so you really want that to show through in the content of your site. So the last question is, is your website helping create credibility for you? So what I mean by that is, have you won any awards? Are you part of any associations? Have you been featured on any blogs or newspapers? Also, what are your customers saying about you? Do you highlight testimonials? Is it easy to find links to ratings of your business, such as Yelp or Google? All of those things for a new visitor that doesn't know you, it's helpful to be able to hear what other people are saying about your business to help create credibility and get new customers faster. So those are my six questions. So ask yourself those, think about it, maybe it's time to redo your website. Now I thought what might be helpful is to see a real life example of how someone might be doing research online to then be making a purchase offline. So let's hop on the computer right now and check that out. All right, well let's imagine I was in New York City and really craving a bagel but didn't know where to go. So let's see what Google tells us. So the first thing that's gonna come up are the local search results, and then here are the organic search. So it looks like you have Thrillist, Food Network, Essa Bagel, so here's one bagel shop, and I think that's the only one that shows up on the first page. Like, so let's take a look at this, the local results. Best Bagel, 4.6 rating, let's open that up. Essa Bagel, 4.1, open their web page. Absolute Bagels, 4.6, and I don't see a web page. And Cosars, and open that up, they have a 4.2. All right, Best Bagel. All right, well, you can. here's what they look like from the outside. 
Let's see what else is here. Here's the inside. I guess here's a couple pictures of bagels, some other, I don't know, not so professional pictures and their location. So, I mean, that's really all you see here. Not that impressed. Essa bagel, maybe even worse than the first one. A uh, picture of the inside, a couple of their bagels, their location, and that's about it. Not impressed. And Kosar's. So this looks actually really appetizing. Some really great pictures here. It's clear that you can order from Seamless. Um, let's scroll down a little bit further. A couple of videos telling their story. Links to all their social, their story, their products, their fans. Let's check this out. So it looks like they've been featured everywhere. New York Magazine, Food Network, Huffington Post, Zagat. Um, maybe others have been featured just as much, but it wasn't as clear from their website. And then our customers. Let's see what these are. Yeah, so these are actual video testimonies from, from customers of theirs. So for me, the clear winner is Kosar's. And so I did this search a second ago on my phone. And as you might expect, you know, it's also very mobile friendly and shows up beautifully there. So to me, the hands down winner in this is Kosar's. All right, now it's time for the question of the day. Which of the six questions that I asked earlier is where your website needs the most work? If you can leave that down in the comments, we'll respond, pass along other blog post articles, YouTube videos. We'll try to help you think through ways how you can build that out in your, your current website. And also it'll help us decide what other videos we should be doing in the future related to web design. So that's all we have today. If you want to learn about landing pages, a little more advanced topic on websites for paid ads, check that out. Also, here's one of our top videos. Um, until next time, thanks.